Hey everyone, welcome back to Mario RPG. Uh, after getting our new party member, Gino, or Geno, uh, we're off to find the next star piece. Kaz is rooting for Geno, at least. At least someone has confidence in us. Alright, so we're gonna head to the pipe vault, since that is the next area on the map. Although, believe it or not, this is actually just a detour. And a little bit of nostalgia for the original Mario fans with the music. And regular old Goombas in here. Clearly no match for us now, so we'll just avoid them. That's a prawn plant. I'm gonna go down this one. There's actually a frog coin under there. That's just actually really tricky to get, so I'm not gonna bother. But right here is a hidden chest with a frog coin. And there's actually a second hidden treasure chest with another frog coin. And a flower. Not a bad haul. Right, we're gonna continue down onto the end. Now, I always thought it was weird that they put a piranha plant in an actual flower pot instead of a pipe. Uh, not entirely sure what the difference is, but... It's there. And a lot of more flower pots. And that was a Shy Ranger. Clearly piranha plants are a little harder than just Goombas. This is give us maple syrup, an improved version of honey syrup. flower in that treasure box. Pretty nice. Now if I remember, there's just coins in this one, so... Yeah, not even that many. Alright. And just like that, we are out of the pipe vault, and we are actually at Yoshter Island. Uh, home of the Yoshis, believe it or not. So we're gonna make a quick save. I'm actually gonna get behind the box to find yet another hidden treasure chest. A lot of frog coins in these ones. As you can see, this is just the Yoshi Island. We can't talk to any of them yet. All they do is make the Yoshi noise. But, here's our good old buddy, the green Yoshi. And it looks like Yoshi's gonna interpret for us. It looks like the Yoshis in this game are, uh, big racers. They like to run up and down the track. Um, we probably could, but we're not going to today, just because it's kind of pointless. And then this is the big boss, Boshi. Or, Blue Yoshi, as his name may imply. They weren't very creative on that. But apparently he's looking for cookies in order to race. But since we don't have any, we're just going to continue on. No, nope, we're good. Right, and we'll head out. So just a small detour that time. Just to get some extra hidden treasure chests. And then we're on to the next town, Moleville. Right, first place we got to stop by is the shop. Just to see if we can get some new armor and weapons. Everyone's up on the mountain. Alright. Alright, looks like we have a punch glove. And some symbols. 
we're just gonna buy a couple sets of work pants for everyone. And we'll equip these. Brand new weapons for us. Mario gets a punch glove. And some work pants. Mallow gets his symbols. And Gino didn't get a new weapon since we got a free finger shot, so. And still no accessory. Oh, it looks like someone's trapped inside the mines. So let's go see what all the hubbub's about. Or we can find Bowser. With a significantly smaller army than last time we saw him. Does that mean I'm weaker than the new guys? <laughs> well, apparently Bowser's ashamed. He has a reputation to upkeep. Not entirely sure how they don't see me as they walk by. I mean, I am standing right there. Taking it from the outside. Oh, well, that's a good hint that there is a star here. Alright, let's go see what's going on. Seems like some kids are actually trapped in the mine. That's never a good thing. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle! No. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've got the gist of it. Alright. Let's head into the mines to save some kids. There's a random toad here. It's a rare item hidden in the mines. Well, if we come across it, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Ooh, look, a trampoline. Oh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> Oh look, it's our old Betty Croco. With some flunkies this time. I would love to. <laughs> oh look! It hits a dead end. And Croco pulls out one of his trusty bombs. Alright, let's continue after them, get our coins back. I know they went the other way, but we're gonna head up here first. And this is one of the guys that was trapped inside. It looks like it's Pommel, probably the kid's father. And he's looking for a bomb. Well, there is this one standing right outside. Maybe we can take it after we kill it. We can test out our new weapons as well. And we didn't get a bomb. Alright, I guess that means I have to get them somewhere else. 
There goes Croco. And there's one of his flunkies. Alright, we get to attack again. I love those items. How do I miss? Right, let's see if I can kill him with the symbols. Or not. There we go. And some decent experience points and coins. That's an ominous threat. But he did give us a flower tab. Let's actually just use that right up. That's another funky behind the trampoline. And that's all three of them taken out. That was a quick one. Another 10 experience points and 30 coins. And he says the same thing as the last one. But he gives us another flower tab. And the last one is actually hiding right behind here. Oh, I missed. Uh, he ran away. Alright. Check it. Oh, we got seven experience points for that one. And Gino gets his first level up. Gino's more of a physical attacker, so we'll give him some extra physical. And there goes Krako. Uh, looks like we're out of room. We'll get rid of a honey syrup, because we have so many right now. But we're actually going to use up all our flower items, just so we don't have this problem again. We'll keep the flower box for now, just because that one might come in handy later on. Now that all of Croco's flunkies are actually out of the way, let's go see if we can catch up to Croco himself. There he is. As we enter into yet another battle with him. Let's try out our super jump. That didn't do as much as I'd hoped. Let's see how much HP this guy has. 589 left. Oh, jeez. Oh, look, bombs! Hint, that's foreshadowing. Yep, I missed. <laughs> Wow, Mallow, you are so useless. Let's see if he can still catch his tail on fire. Nope, I don't think so. Wow, Mallow, how do you do more? Oh, and he just stole all our items. That's not good. Let's keep Gino alive. We'll definitely have to heal Mario after this as well. Now he's throwing flowers at us. 
I'm curious as to what's not in that bag right now. And that's Croco done. And an extra 50 coins. Along with all the coins, and we got a bomb from him. I wonder who needs that. Thunderbolt these guys. And we'll give this guy the bomb. Yep, because we're good. That's a lot of the bombs. everything that's in our way. Oh, and I just missed that last one. Oh jeez, what is that? Whatever it is, it's ugly. It looks like Gino got muted. Not the worst thing in the world, but certainly not the best thing. Smallow goes for a Thunderbolt. And gets himself almost killed. <laughs> Note to self, don't tick off the bombs. There's a lot of coins in here. There we go. Not hit them. Heal ourselves up. And this will actually do it for this episode. Uh, there's a little more to do here in this area, but we'll save that for the next episode. So I will see you then when we finish off the mines and save the kids that are trapped. I'll see you.